Welcome to the JA Careers and Communication Program. We're really excited about this program. South Dakota worked in conjunction with JAUSA to get to organize and write this three session program. We took some legacy points from their retired JA Career Success Program. We added some new elements from the JA It's My Job Program and folded in some local content as well. So we're really grateful to JAUSA for allowing us the opportunity to do this. We get three trips into the school to really encourage the students to think about some career readiness, some soft skills that are going to affect them both now, today in high school, as well as their future careers. So this very first session is all about communication in general. So what you want to make sure you have is your guidebook. You want to take just a moment before you go into the classroom to cut apart the tone activity. So just literally cut them into strips so that you're ready to go. And then we do have a worksheet as well that we hopefully will get to use at the end. So the first thing you want to do when you go in is obviously introduce yourself, build some of that rapport, talk about your um, current job, some of the different jobs you've had since high school, as well as your education path that took you there. Then we're going to jump right into communication. You're going to notice there's three main topics um, that we're going to be folding into this entire session today. The first thing is just communication in general, and we're going to start off with a really quick icebreaker to get the students interacting and moving right off the bat. So talk a little bit about, um, ask the students, like, what jobs do they have? Do they have a part-time job? Have they had a summer job, etc.? So ask them that because we're going to be referencing that throughout your three visits. And then just ask them, what are some of the common things that they often say within their job? Maybe it's, you know, how are you? How may I help you, right? Um, it depends upon what their career of industry um, choice is. The first activity is just to split the students into small groups and to have each group have a topic. You're going to notice that some of the topics repeat, so depending on how many student groups you have, you have, might have more than one group that has the same topic. But what they're going to do is they're going to consider how can you say the same thing but communicate it very differently. So they have a main topic and then they have three ways in which we want them to share that information. And how does it sound different and what would that final implication be in depending on how they actually say it. So again, we want this to be extremely brief, two to three minutes at max, and you don't have to have every single group report back out depending on the timing. But what you could say is who has the topic of thank you for coming today, I'm here to help you in any way that you need. Have those groups stand up and then have them share a couple of their different um, ways in which they came up with it. You could say the same thing, but imply very, very different things. Um, and again, read through them yourself. Maybe you can come up with some different ways if they did struggle with it, but it's just a really fun way to get them to start thinking that sometimes it's not just what we say, but it's how we say it, it's the tone in which we say it, etc. So you're going to notice that after that icebreaker, there are some talking prompts specifically about voice modulation, body language, and then we move into conflict management. We really want the students to think like, we can't always control what comes at us, but the way in which we respond respond to those things are greatly going to affect the outcome, right? And so we want the students to start thinking about how can they take a deep breath, take a state, step back, and really think through how they respond and what that final implication is going to be. From there, we're going to switch topics to cell phone usage. Now, this is a topic that every one of the volunteers and your companies are going to have a different opinion on and different policies on. The teacher might have a different perspective as well as the students. So just know there isn't necessarily a perfect right or wrong answer, but it really comes down to what's your industry, what is the company's policy, and we really want to get the students to think about those different perspectives and really how to be respectful with their self phone. We know that policies have changed in companies um, greatly throughout the last 10 plus years, and they're evolving every single day, right? So 
first thing we want to just do is build a big just um, brainstorm on the board about all the different things that you can do with a cell phone. So just have the students shout them out, write on the board all the different things. And then once you kind of exhaust that list, have the students take a step back and think about which ones do they think would be appropriate to utilize in the workplace and maybe circle the ones that they shout out that they think is appropriate. And then maybe cross off the ones that they think are just like absolutely not appropriate to use again in the office. And then just talk a little bit about it and the whys behind it. And they might disagree a little bit because there are some industries that it might be appropriate or maybe it's appropriate on a break but not while you're on the clock. All those different topics might come out as you're talking. Then what we're going to do is transition to a do's versus don't. And again, we want the students to really like get up, get moving, and really to foster dialogue. So again, there is not a right or wrong answer necessarily. We are all about the conversation about the why. So what you want to do is you just want to throw out the first one that you'll notice. Keep your cell phone stored away and muted at work. Do they think you should do that? Is that appropriate to do at work? Go on this side of the room. If you think that that's not a big deal and you don't need to do that, go to this side of the room. So allow the students to take just a few seconds to choose a side of the room and then open up dialogue. Why do they think this? Why do they think that? And again, it's not, it's such, all of these are so gray. We're really focused on the conversation. Their perspective might be different than yours. It might be different than the teachers. And again, we might really need to get them thinking about the different perspectives of the industries as well. So you're going to notice that some of them are super quick. There's one that says post on social media while at work. We're really hopeful that this one will dive into a little greater conversation about social media. So we're hoping that you have the opportunity to take a little bit of time to, to just navigate that one and, and talk through some of those additional talking prompts on that one. Um, and again, it just really um, depends on the situation at hand. The very last one says sneak a peek at your your phone. And there are so many ways, right, that that could be dangerous in work settings. You might get distracted. There are a list of different ways. Like, think about if you were in these different work settings, how could it potentially be really negative impact if you were distracted by your cell phone? So again, get them to think about different perspectives. It might not matter in most jobs, but what if you're working a construction site? That could be a safety issue. What if you were working with like little kids in a preschool, that could be a safety issue, right, with those little squirts. So um, again, really focus on that dialogue. And then what you're going to do is fold into our last topic in conversation. And we realize this one might get a little bit tight and we put it at the end, not because it's not important, but because we really want you to focus on those, those first aspects of communication. And um, if you don't have enough time to do this one really robustly, they can take this home. But we really want you um, to introduce the topic of workplace topics. Again, this is going to maybe vary depending upon your industry and your work um, policies. But in general, we want to get the students to think about there is a difference between um, professional communication and unprofessional communication. What's appropriate to talk about with friends and family at home and what's appropriate to talk about with colleagues. So there are some talking prompts to get the students to think about what might be appropriate, what might not be. And even more is really brainstorming with the kids to think about how can you respond, right? You can't necessarily control if somebody asks you and it appropriate or inappropriate topic, but how are you going to respond and how can you be prepared for that to respond in an appropriate way? So this worksheet just kind of walks them through a variety of topics that might come their way and give them a minute to pause to think about how would they respond. So if you have enough time, give the students maybe two minutes to kind of peruse the list and think about what they would answer. And then hopefully you'll have a few minutes to actually ask for some um, examples or advice or ask the students, which ones did you guys struggle with? Was there any of them that you were kind of like, I'm not sure how I would respond? 
if there's any like that, use those first and, and ask other students, like what were some of your guys' ideas? What could you help them come up with? I would really encourage you to take just a few minutes in preparation for this session to go through that list and really think about a viable option or two. Again, there's many ways in which you can approach it, but have some ideas ready to go for the students. At the very end of the session, you want to just make sure you take a minute to kind of tie it all back together and really get them to think about that main idea that no matter what, the way you respond, the way you commu communicate really can affect that end result. Have a great time in the classroom.